helps get born. But sometimes I say just feed it hearts and gentle folic acid in. Food for thought. Now, you want to see what these mills look like? Look at this. Look at this here. I mean, Roger. Pig. Pig. Ish. All this good stuff here. And mind you, they will not eat again until Thursday. And guess what? I've got to eat those oh, some turkey, uh, some of the big turkey legs. And I might fry me one to end my mind today. Might go ahead and fry me a little one. Yeah, what I do like is that causes dessert. Food dessert on the dog's thing. Blueberries are super nutritious. And they're cheap. They're cheap. You can even get organic ones relatively cheap. Everybody's meal is different. Everybody's getting plenty of pumpkin. Everybody's getting the stuff that they need. And mind you, I'm always going to miss something. But even in missing something, we can come back at another time and uh, add a little value. Objectively, as I said before, you want protein, you want fiber. And in this case, you want some bone. But remember, we talked about it. Protein, fiber, and fat. Everything you give the dog is going to be rooted in some form of protein. And mind you, when you do it, it's not going to matter. Marcus is on live with the uh, YouTube. YouTube. So shout out to all the people on YouTube watching as well. Everybody's hooked up. Ooh. Look at this right here. This right here has some organic eggs. Pasture raised organic. Huh. I gotta read this. I'm curious, man. When I see stuff, I guess. Unlike some people, I don't throw it away. <laughs> I want to learn, see what it says. But one thing we do know, this right here is a good egg. And everybody gets an egg. At least one. Raw. Now you do know that when you cook something, you reduce its bioavailability, aka the amount of amino acids you can absorb and utilize. This is why raw feed of the dog actually solves a problem. So I give them all at least one egg raw. If I am going to do anything, I poach one. But um, tonight everybody's getting some type of animal objectively. I think the only one not getting an animal is Hera and Zara. Zara will not attest it. <laughs> she don't want Mr. Piggy and she does not want that rabbit. She tried to bury it. So it just didn't go so long. So uh, that being said, remember that when you do feed heart, it's literally considered, um, what is the term? It's considered muscle meat. So Joe, I'm going to build his ball with some muscle meat because he needs a little muscle. Give him about one pound of meat, some chicken legs, some blueberries, and then hope you don't poop and pee on it uh, for, the, for the next two days. I might give him half a chicken. So uh, we're going to start with, uh, I think, Eagle. He's the ball that I heard about today. Remember that touring. Rabbits lack touring. They lack high levels of touring, to say the least. And I'll, I'll even read the article so that you are just one paragraph out of this book. People say, hey, what do I feed my dog? How do I do this? How do I do this? like, my man. Or anybody. It's not that simple. It's just not that simple. Ugh. So, in this particular paragraph, it states, so what I'm going to start. Huh. Unsurprisingly, we provides all the EAAs. You know what that means? Essential amino acids. A dog needs to run his body correctly. Hence, they are termed complete proteins. Vegetables, as you also know, are incomplete proteins, but not all of them. Not all veggies are created equal. Or unequal, for that matter. <sighs> Let's see. So, it says, unlike plant ingredients, which do not and are thus termed incomplete proteins for dogs, as they lack amino acids such as arginine, lysine, tritophylline, and turbine, nor is it as simple as just animal protein either. Yeah, right there, that could be an oxymoron. So it says, what do you mean? I thought the, the, the pork or the beef had all the amino my dog needed. It don't work that way. So, like compared skin to bone, beef muscle will obviously have an entire different amino acid profile and vitamin and mineral and chemical profile to say you know, like beef liver has more potentially vitamin A. They said that there were some people carrying a bear, a bear across the, uh, just across some, some place in Antarctica or, or uh, Alaska. And the liver from the bear leaking on these people was so rich, it was so toxic that they all got poisoned. Isn't that crazy? So, um, it might be duck and lamb that will offer far more tritophan to your cat than chicken or turkey. Rabbit and lamb meat do not contain a whole lot of taurine. White meats like chicken and fish contain much more phosphorus than red meat. So up until recently, we tend to avoid in a, in a pet with kidney disease. They don't feed basically lamb 
and chicken. I love it. I like it. And people say, hey, what do I feed my dog? How to do this? I'm like, it's just, I wish it was, hey, this is all you're going to do. That's not the case. It's just like, I can't eat a lot of beer. It'll kill me. It'll kill me. It's just not worth the hassle. So I'm going to set this down. We're going to uh, let you watch Tron and Ego chew on a little food. I repeat, this is everyone's meals tonight for the time being. I'll go back and read some comments and respond to some stuff shortly. They again won't eat till Thursday. This is a, uh, again, a little, oh, that's his butt. <laughs> <laughs> a little pig. Um, and that right there is a, is a whole rack. And it is, I repeat, feeding time. Here you go. So try to eat the whole thing in your food first. Keep it moving there. That's it. Enjoy the show. And I'm going to go live on TikTok and feed these Frenchies. So time, y'all. On this side, Frenchies. Two cups of hell in the I'm going to turn this foot right here. Go and give it to him. She's a, she's a uh, murderer, <laughs> so she actually gets one of the whole animals as well. Kara, <laughs> she gets literally a whole brisket. She gets a brisket. I think that joke is three pounds or something like that. Some other good stuff. I'm trying to swallow that fish too fast. <laughs> now he can try. They got that good stuff, so I'm gonna try to angle it because at some point, Trump pulls that dang on that pig out. Can you get a pig good today? Take this off so I can see some of the light. John also has half a chicken in there to be clear. I feed him a micro, so he eats a combination of cooked and raw. Don't worry, Junior. You can get some food, man. Just not here.
I got two of your food, boy. Still got a whole pig in there too, and he's still got a whole rabbit. And she used to have a whole pig too. I think she just messed up that chicken though. Yeah, she finished it. And here, she's got a small mouth, so. Mm -hmm. well, they got they got a little time, a little time to do some other things. She goes, she's about to pull this pig out. She's gnawing on the little leg. She already took off the little little leg. Yeah. Shot this web. Yeah. <laughs> Shot this web. He goes upstairs. I literally just went out there to finish giving up, making his own. And I gotta take all her food too. Oh, come on, stop. <laughs> stop it. You better stop it, boy. They don't want to see. They don't feed me, dog. Trust me. Shot that back there working on that pig. Yeah. She's done. Yeah, we're gonna have some more corso footage coming for you soon. I always tell people to start with a bone, like a little cornish hand or something, force them to do a little work. And we're trying to figure out where to begin. See if you eat that chicken with that little cornish hand. Yep, there goes the head. Poor, poor rabbit's gone. Finally, the little dog is here. How far is China away? Mountain on the back legs right now. She just gnawed them jokers right off. <laughs> That's right here, people. 
is also mentally stimulating for the dog. So you think about it, you go, hmm. They've got to actually do some work. And in this case, Eagle's using the back of his jaws right now, chewing on that rabbit. Literally. You got to turn his head <coughs> and enjoy. Oh, man. Get in the knee. Sasha, what you got there doing? It's a devil back there. She got a deep, a deep ground like she's a leopard. Trying to beat that pig on the left. <laughs> she's shaking. Mm -hmm, she was. Put that rabbit in there with the general boy, he knew what to do. Uh, so, I mean, if we went hunting, I would literally give the dogs what we could, what we kill, freeze it for up to two weeks at negative two degrees to kill all the disease per se, and then you give them animals. Why dead animals? If you know anything about raw feeding objectively, the dogs need hide. It helps clean their teeth. The dog needs need real animals, especially when you're feeding. If you can get access to it, I'd give them a whole goat leg if I could. And now these dogs are also scavengers, so they'll do what? They'll eat dead carcasses. A lot of times not dogs, but you know. Tron's an asshole, so he pushes the thing out. I don't know what it is, he just don't want that thing in there. So if I put it in there today, I'll wake up in the morning and be way out here. Come on, guys. Finish your food. So, Jeffrey, I'll leave Sean in here. It's, it looks like he's going to take a little bit longer to uh, knock this uh, hog down. Sometimes, ironically, Sean gets full. I mean, I've seen this before. He gets full and be like, I'm good for now. He needs to eat some food. Or sometimes what happens, he needs to go and poop. <laughs> Because keep in mind, when we go to the store, we don't know how long that food been sitting out. So you get it back, cook it, and then you like, dang, I got that shit. You need to freeze and kill some of the bacteria sometimes. Yeah, you cook, you kill it sometimes. But it does at times need to be frozen. Eagle's gonna knock this thing off, and if he doesn't spend it, he's gonna get back to this pig to Hera and see what she does. Worst case scenario, when I say worst man. I'll put it back in the freezer and give it to somebody who wanted the next one. Oh man, she turned this thing half, boy. She was going to get two. Yeah, that thing gone now. There ain't no more back legs. Uh, so, X, X have this source of vitamin K. That's finished that. You'll see a lot of your green cells that have this source of vitamin K. And guys, I, I do say this respectfully. Don't feel free to do this about you. It's kind of like going to school, right? Somebody Teacher asks a question, nobody knows the answer, they turn around to you. Reach out to 12 and 17. He has to take a little quickness. Channel on a little, little Google. The challenge is making sure that the dog never eats food that could be toxic to itself. Just give it a bunch of random stuff. But the point is, is eggs have a good source of keratin. Uh, but also, uh, not vitamin K, they, it's not just eggs, it's, it's mostly the green vegetables, right? And in some meats, beef liver, A, B, E, and K. Your, livers, your liver is going to carry a lot of uh, vitamins, but then that's also dependent on how the animal was raised and fed. So, Jamarcus, who about to let his chocolate dedicate? Uh, yeah, she's, I don't know, she kind of keeps going back and forth. 
So right now they they both cha cha's hit the cage for a bit. She's letting you know, hey buddy, I might have to go to the El Baño in about two seconds. So you might want to let me out. I'll come back and get to it. And I'll leave it up in here for the next, you know, what, a couple hours. Uh, and then if I have to put it in the fridge, I will. But this is what feeding time looked like tonight, people. Uh, Eagle had rabbit and some, uh, what was it, beef? Mm -hmm. And then Tr Tron had a pig and some chicken. And then Chacha had a pig and some beef as well. Oh, no, I thought she had the other half of chicken. Yeah, half of chicken. She had the other half of the chicken. And Hera had the other. Uh, and Hera had a whole uh, brisket type thing, a tri tip brisket. And ham hocks. <laughs> and ham hocks. She got some ham hocks too. I'm pretty sure that's what you put in there for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All not given chicken legs. Zara just said. Oh, okay. And then fish as well, and mackerel oh, and yeah, sardines. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fish and mackerel. So, Jamarcus, do me a favor, go ahead and run them out real quick. He's going to let them out while, while they go and use the bathroom. I'm going to hold this. Okay. Yeah, yeah, he's got to go. Come on. I'm trying to do this. Look go. at that gut. Look at that gut. Hey, hey, get out of there. Go. Outside, outside, outside. No. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> Shut the door on that joker. Shut the door on that joker there. You go finish your food, man. You're doing good. Here, you finish all your food? You did. You did. You didn't eat your eggshells, though. Dang. That thing literally has everything in it still. I was wondering if those things were still intact, and Lord have mercy, they are. That's crazy. Whoo! Guys, well, we did a video that's going on uh, YouTube where I break some of this down. We got more stuff to break down, a lot more stuff to learn, a lot more work to do. Uh, this is literally feeding time at its finest. And again, they'll come back and they'll eat again Thursday. So that means tomorrow, they'll do a couple miles, do cardio day, do some training. Then we'll turn around and we'll really push them on Wednesday. And then Thursday, you know, we're going to um, let them chill and just enjoy being dogs. <laughs> That's it, but I appreciate you guys for watching, seriously. And thanks for that, man. We hit 600,000 today on uh, YouTube. <sighs> 600,000, so I appreciate all those people who've been in support of that thing going. Ooh, exercise, and I'm sweating. I use the bathroom. <laughs> that joker, Ego, he's the one you can count on. Uh, come on, man, finish your stuff. Is that somebody hollering? Is that the wind? Any new people, uh, take care of your dogs. <laughs> we literally got two, three more things we got to get done. Boss man. End it. Uh, end it.